Briggs, here's what's happening in your community. Swing into spring with Ebenezer Ridge's Spring Fashion Show tonight at 6 p.m. at the Ebenezer Ridge's Campus 13820 Community Drive. Here's your chance to see people model the latest in spring fashion. A $5 charge will be collected at the door and proceeds go to the Ebenezer Auxiliary that helps enhance the lives of those who live at the campus. The Auxiliary provides equipment, sponsors special events, and entertainment for Ebenezer residents. The Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley announced the lineup for its popular Music in the Zoo Outdoor Summer Concert Series Monday. Headliners for the 20 shows running June 12th through August 28th include Toots and the Maytels, Lost Lonely Boys, and Yonder Mountain String Band. For a complete lineup, visit www.mnzoo.org. Tickets go on sale to the general public May 18th through Ticketmaster and Electric Fetus stores. Tonight, mostly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely, lows around 50. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms, highs around 65. John Carlson of Lakeville started Dakota Wild Animals in 2003, and since then he has been bringing his collection of animals and reptiles to libraries, schools, and other events. The second of a two-part series by Lakeville Community Editor Joseph Palmersheim, Carlson shows us some of his collection and why these animals fascinate him. Let's take a look. My name is John Carlson. I'm with Dakota Wild Animals. These guys here are Madagascar hissing cockroaches, or, or fear factor friends. Make sure you don't put your finger right in front of this guy here. He'll, he might decide it's a, a mouse. It's a savannah monitor. It's from Africa. And when they're full grown, they'll get to be in that three foot, uh, even some will get up into that four foot range. And as far as temperaments go, they can be pretty mellow to downright nasty. They can have a, a pretty nasty bite on them. And he'll eat about two mice, two mice a week, two uh, adult mice. Oh, there he's coming out. He got three toes in the back, and if I were to touch up around his head, or his front legs, he'll close up right inside. And he'll do the same with the back, closing up just like a box. That's how they get their name. With each, each one, it's a little different. Some of them, um, the different stories that are behind them. Um, I've, I've had an interest in reptiles since being a small child. We grew up in an area that was heavily uh, wooded. It was not developed at all. We had ponds, little marshes all around us. So growing up, we'd go around collecting uh, the salamanders, snakes, pretty much any critter that we could, and we'd bring them home. So I guess it'd be a, just a lifelong interest in the critters. Uh, it's just been a, a really fun, fun way to watch and observe, learn all about them and then to be able to share that with, with kids and, and their families and the parents too. For Sun Current and Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow.